Here we have two numbers that we're going to add together. So the first one is 7,298, and we're going to add 872,929. So the first step we should take is to rewrite the original question into a format where we can actually solve it. So let's do that first. I, I normally take the largest number and put that at the top. So in this case, I'm going to write uh, 8, 7, 2, 9, 2, 9. And you'll see I like spreading my digits out so there's plenty of room. And then I'm going to put in the second number that I'm going to add. But I always start from the right-hand side. So that helps me make sure that I've got the digits in the right place value. Okay. So... One of the things I could do straight off the bat, though, is take a look at this and have a ballpark figure. Because this is really 872,000. This is really like 800, right? It's like 873,000 if I round this off, right? And I'm going to add, well, really, 7,000. So sort of about 7, yep, so 7,300 even. And then I can quickly have a look. And I'm going to end up with about 880 sort of about 880,000 something. So that's kind of the ballpark. So you can get into the habit of taking a look at the question and having a bit of an estimate as to where you should end up. Okay, so we're gonna start solving this. I'm just gonna have a little box here uh, where I can put some additional working. Now, the working I put in this box, you don't really need to do. You could, um, but you don't have to in order to show your working um, with these kinds of problems. I'm just going to use my working here to show you and more clearly illustrate each step of the, so of the solution. So let's do it. Now, the way we solve these is really it's column by column. So it's relatively simple because we break down what's a big uh, question into lots of little smaller ones. So let's have a look. 9 plus 8. So 9 plus 8 is 17, right? And so what we do is the digit that's in the ones column, we keep and we put it in our answer. So 7 goes here. And the digit that's in the tens column, we carry over to the next column. Okay, so this column, this ones column here, this units column, is finished. I go over to the next one and I add 1 plus 2 plus 9. So that's 12. So the number in the units column is the 2, so we keep that. That's in our answer. The number in the tens column gets carried over to the next column. Okay, so now we have 1 plus 9 plus 2, and again, that happens to be 12. The number in the units digit, which is 2, we keep. The number in the tens digit, we carry over. Now we have 1 plus 2 plus 7, and that's 10. So we keep the number that's in the units column, so that becomes 0 down here. And the number in the tens column, we carry over to the next column. And that becomes 1 plus 7, which is 8. And 8 plus 0 is 8. So our answer should be 880. 227, which was very close to what we were estimating before, which was around about 880,300 or something like that. However, we can go one extra step to check. So we start our checking process with the answer. So 880,227. Now to check an addition problem, we need to use the opposite, which is subtraction. So I've started with the answer, and we're going to check it, and I just use one of these numbers, okay, one of these add-ins that we started with. And I'm just going to go with um, subtracting 7,298. So again, I'm going to write it back to front so I keep my digits in the correct place value. Okay, and now I'm going to solve this and see what I end up with. So 7 minus 8 I can't do, I've got to borrow. Okay, 17 minus 8 is 9. 1 minus 9 I can't do, I've got to borrow. That becomes 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. 1 minus 2 I can't do. I can't borrow from here because there's nothing there. So we're going to go over to the next one. And I borrow from here. So that becomes a 7. That becomes a 10. I can borrow from here now because there's 10. So I take 1 from there. That becomes a 9. This becomes an 11. It's a little bit complicated. 11 minus 2 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. 7 minus 0 is 7. And 8 minus 0 is 8. And I end up with 872,929. So I look back at my original question, and I notice that this answer I just got is exactly the same as this one. And I've already used this number from this, uh, this part of the original question, 
And I started with this, which was the answer. Now, because this answer to the subtraction equation is the same as one of the original add-ins, I know that this must be correct.